to Try to keep this quick today, guys. So, today, guys, I'm going to uh, be trying this Alaskan cod that I bought on yesterday, and I'm going to make a uh, a spinach pasta to go along with it as well as um, a big sweet potato which my potato is already in the oven I had it on like 200 while I was at work so I'm gonna have a big sweet potato I'm gonna try this Alaskan cod I've never cooked it before I've never eaten it before and I'm going to make a spinach uh, pasta as well. Good morning, my love. Good morning. Thank you from Aruba. Thank you so much, sweetie. So let's get started, guys. I'm going to do my pasta first. Let me turn this down so y'all can see. So I've already pre-cooked. Let me see. I got to make sure I get it right. I pre-cooked the pina pasta. I pre-cooked that. Got my skillet heating up. Uh, I'm going to put in, I have some frozen. Yeah, I see I broke my nail. I got to go get it fixed. But um, I have red yellow and green bell peppers that I'm going to have in my pasta. Then I got some fresh spinach just frozen. Well, let me just saute these veggies. Cut my fire up. guys doing today like I said we're gonna do this Alaskan cod that I got on yesterday like I said I've never eaten it I've never cooked it let me set my pasta to the side let my pan heat up I'm gonna put a little olive oil in my pan with my bell peppers So let's open up this cod, Alaskan cod, and see what that's like. Hi, my love. I wish you was here, too. You love peppers. I'm glad you finally caught me live. Y'all think I'm going to love it? Black Mamba. Okay, 
guys, let me get prepared. I, I'm hoping. My fiance says that, uh, he said it's a pretty good fish. And he was like, have you ever ate Captain D's fish? I'm like, no. No, I've never eaten that, honey. It looks good. So I'm going to season it up. Oh, let me show y'all. Let me turn y'all around. Just y'all. Y'all can see. Oh, it looks clean. So I'm going to pan and sear it. Let me just put this right here. Matter of fact, let me just rinse it off because I'm funny like that. I'm gonna judge for myself. Got these peppers going. And I want to cut these. So I'm cutting it. So I have four pieces. Well, how are you guys doing today? Pan here. that's how you do your salmon. Yeah, I, I'm just going to try this because, like I said, I've never, uh, oh, it's been a minute since you heard that song. Yeah, I've never tried this fish, so that's why I'm trying it. Okay. So, I got the four fillets. I'm going to... Just trying to saute my peppers for my pasta. So I'm going to add some Creole seasoning to this. Yeah, I know I like that Cajun flavor. Hi, love. I'm glad that you caught me live too, guys. So I'm just sprinkling my Cajun seasoning on here. I'm also going to put some fresh cracked black pepper. So I want to season this, you know, I, I'm not sure what type of flavor it will have. I'm gonna season this baby good. And I'm gonna put me a little garlic powder on here. You made a Dutch baby for breakfast? Did it turn out good? I haven't made one in a while. I'm gonna have to make that. Dutch baby is my favorite thing to have for breakfast. So as I'm going to do my pasta, I'm going to let this sit over here to the side. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I have here some hoisin sauce. Poison sauce. So I'm going to brush that using my little brush. I'm going to brush this on top. Making a mess. I'm going to brush this on top of this fish. I hope you guys can see. Alright, let me adjust this. Yeah, so I'm going to just mop this on here. Poison sauce, you know, it is a sweet sauce, and a lot of times they put it on salmon. Um, and it's thicker than, if you like teriyaki sauce, it's thicker than that, though. Oh, it's stuck to the pan? Yeah, I'm okay. Miss Keisha got a remedy for that. Thank you guys for sharing your tips and stuff with me. I definitely appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate you guys' input. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm like slathering this on, baby. So, okay. So, this is what this is looking like. And we're just going to let this sit aside while um, I do the pasta. Yeah, I be trying to cook. I be trying to do a little something. So I just have my bell pepper saute. Oh, Lord, no wonder I'm burning up something, y'all. Y'all see I'm about to burn up something? So I have my veggies in here. Hey, love. The poison sauce. Poison sauce. And I get this from Kroger's. So I just have my pepper saute. I'm going to do my pasta. Let's see what I want to put in here. Da, 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 da. Two tablespoons of butter. Do I? Yeah, pretty much I get everything from Kroger's. Pretty much. So I just have my um, peppers. And butter sauteing. Like I said, I have my pasta. Let's see. My pina pasta. I'm going to throw this in. to add some wilt Philadelphia cream cheese. Like one, two dollops of that. I have fresh uh, frozen spinach. It's, I have, it's like about a cup right here. Come on, thing.
Oh, Mary J. Yeah, I listen to iHeartRadio. That's what that's playing. So I'm just tossing everything together. Let me see if you guys can see. There you go. Some of my reserve uh, pasta water. Try to get it after y'all can see. Yeah, I'm gonna add some of my. Woo! Sorry, guys. Let me get y'all back straight. Sorry. So I added some pasta water. cheese to this. Right now I just want to incorporate everything for my seasoning in here. I'm about to add some of my Creole seasoning. And it's whatever your preference is uh, to your taste, to your liking. Fresh cracked black pepper of course. Get that slap your mama. I I have that as well. I've used that before. Yeah, I've used that slap your mama before. So what I'm doing is just really letting the spinach uh, do this thing in here. I'm gonna add me another tablespoon. Let me turn around of the whipped. Philadelphia cream cheese with chives. Because I want this baby to be creamy. And like I said, I am going to add uh, cheese. So I have the fish is marinating, my sweet potato is hanging out in the oven. Um, for my sweet potato, I just scrubbed it real good. Um, I took olive oil and put it all over the outside of the sweet potato, making slits in it. Um, putting it in aluminum foil. I like to put the vanilla flavoring uh, into my aluminum foil while my uh, potato is baking. So the vanilla flavor can get like throughout it, you know, throughout the uh, potato. So that's how I generally do that. I want to chop up this spinach and this is fresh uh, frozen spinach not cooked at all and I'm just trying to break it up with this knife
So I want to add some more of my pasta water. Hope you guys can see that. This is reserved pasta water that I had. For my pasta that I cooked this morning. As you can see, baby, it's coming together. It's coming together. But I just like the, the specks of spinach, you know, the green, the red, yellow, and green bell peppers that are in here. So at this point, I'm going to add fresh cilantro, fresh green onions. And I have the Mexican, let's see, y'all, I swear my light in my uh, kitchen is like bright. Mexican blend cheese, I'm adding that. Then I have the Italian blend cheese, adding that as well. just want to, there you go, and I'm going to just incorporate everything. Yeah, I see how creamy this is. Did you see how creamy that is? Not using any milk. Well, Philadelphia cream cheese only. There you go. Don't that look good? And it's good and cheesy, baby. And you can add chicken to this. You can add shrimp to it. This is an easy dish, you know, if you have, like, a family that you want to uh, cook this for. I'm adding more pasta water. Wanted to cream all together. I'm going to put it on a plate and put it to the side while we work on the fish. So I have my plate here. And I'm going to top it with Parmesan cheese. And be really careful, guys, because it is hot. Let me see. Y'all see? It's steaming, y'all. There you go. Presentation is everything. Presentation is like everything. Presentation. I'm going to put this aside on the back. Put the rest of it into a bowl back here. Then we're going to work on our fish.
And you guys know I like to use like one pan. I have a uh, fresh shaved uh, Parmesan. I swear my light in my kitchen is like bright. I can't even adjust it. Fresh shaved Parmesan cheese and I want to just put on top. For the presentation effect. You know what? I'm gonna have to make y'all look some. For presentation effect, guys. I'm gonna say. Maybe because my blinds open or something. I don't know. There we go. There you go, guys. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me just sit this back here. I need to get my sweet potato out the oven. So this is my baked sweet potato and then I have, uh, stop calling me, oh my God, my baked sweet potato and it has been in the oven on 200, it is butter, vanilla flavoring, brown sugar and dollop on top is some marshmallow fluff. Baked sweet potato. So I'll put that back there. Let me clean my pan. to the pan so I have hey my love I um I have a solution for that so I'm gonna let my pan get hot I think I want to take a little of the sesame oil with sesame oil you only need like a little bit because sesame oil goes a long long way I just want to put a little bit in this pan Maybe a teaspoon. Then I'm going to use olive oil. And we're going to pan and sear this fish. And just for, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more Creole seasoning. And I want some ground ginger. There you go, brown ginger. It smells so good and toasty, that sesame oil. But I'm hoping that this fish is good. Hand. 
Let my pan heat back up, guys. What are y'all up to? What kind of fish? This is the Alaskan cod that I just uh, purchased yesterday. I've never eaten it before. Let me just remove it. I've never eaten that before, so. Who's going to eat? Who cooking? Me. Yeah. You know what? This is a pain. I have so many pots. Honey, oh my God. I don't know why. I have so many pots and pans, but my go-to pan is that one. So, yeah, I have a I have a whole new set of pans that my son, pots that my son bought for me. And then after he bought them for me, he gonna tell me he don't want me to use them. What kind of stuff is that? And I think I will put two tablespoons of butter in here for flavor. So I have sesame oil, olive oil, and I just added two tablespoons of butter. So let me take this fish. It smells good, y'all. Remove y'all bag. And I will be posting this video on YouTube, on my YouTube page. Yes, hoisin sauce is sweet. It is. If you like teriyaki, hoisin sauce is just a little thicker. Oh, this fish falling. It don't take long. Let me flip this, try to flip this over. That's what it's looking like. I'm gonna take half of an orange, half of an orange. I'm gonna 
gonna give y'all a review and let y'all know whether or not I like it. I'm taking half of a fresh squeezed orange and putting it here. Just a lemon, just a little lemon. See, it created a sauce, adding that lemon and orange. I'm just going to let this simmer on down. So we have our uh, spinach penne pasta. We have that. And we have our baked, baked sweet potato. Woo, Lord Jesus. Trying to give y'all a good shot. Baked sweet potato. Y'all, this smells so good. Y'all see that sauce? all over this fish baby and what I'm doing I'm just I want this sauce to penetrate I just want it to thicken well what you call reduce down I want the sauce to reduce it is a flaky fish I noticed that. I don't think that's something that I would eat frequently. Yeah, I like a gravy. Oh, Lord, it tastes so good. More than done. Well, to each his own. I will say that. Okay, Aquarius poo. Let me tell y'all something. One thing about Miss Keisha, honey. I'm a no-nonsense type of person. I, I'm sweet and nice, but don't come for me, baby. This is what the little fish look like. Let me see.
It tastes pretty good. Like I said, it's not no fish that I would be. It's nothing there to write home about. It's good. It's a light fish. I have another way that I wanted to to do a presentation for this fish. And I will just insert a picture or post a picture when I'm done. So that is the fish. I guess you can see it. That's what the fish looks like. I love bass. Uh, my YouTube channel name is Keisha Walker. So this is what it looks like. First time trying it. Like I said, it's a light, flaky fish. Um, I do like the taste of it. But um, it's nothing that I will... Uh, it's nothing that I will, um, you know, write home about. It is a good fish. I'm going to take this pan off. So, do y'all have any questions or anything, guys? Yeah, salmon probably do taste good, guys, but I found out that I have an allergic reaction to salmon, so that's why I don't, uh, I can't eat it anymore. Well, I got the Alaskan cod from Kroger's, and like I said, it was like, you know, the package was like $4.29, so I thought that I would try it, so... But I have to do, I'm going to do my presentation plate. Y'all got to give me some allergy pills. Y'all see my eyes so puffy? Oh. Anyway, y'all have any questions or anything? Okay, uh, Ali Bert. Okay, I got you, baby. Thank you. And like I said, this is my first time cooking this fish. Yeah, I see that it cooks really fast. But I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure it's done because I ain't never cooked it before. I ain't never ate it before. So you guys are on here live witnessing me try something for the very first time. I do appreciate all of the suggestions and support that you guys have given me because I don't know. Yeah, as far as the hoisin sauce, if you eat Ch any Chinese food or Vietnamese food you have ate, you've had hoisin sauce. Let me scroll back up. I was trying to address uh, past comments and stuff, so... Now I got you wanting fish. <laughs> thank you. Ali Bird, thank you. And my sarcastic remark was not directed towards you. They know who they are. It was directed towards somebody else. I can adopt you. And I'm going to, as soon as I finish this live broadcast, I am going to post pictures. 
you know i have to do my whole creative presentation um bit for you guys so y'all can see um how i like to play things i like things to be nice and appealing to the eye as a matter of fact i have my lemonade that's freezing in my freezer so i'm going to have me a mocktail along with my meal You going back to the grocery store? Mm-hmm. I'm glad. I, that's what I want to do, guys. I'm, I want to inspire you guys to cook more. And I'm just tr I try to create dishes that doesn't take long, where you don't have to use a whole bunch of ingredients and stuff like that. You know, I try to save money by any means necessary. So, um... That's why I try to um, show you guys quick and easy, you know, frugal meals. Something that you can enjoy. I'm glad, Ali Bird. I'm glad. So, I'm, I'm at my apartment in my kitchen, but next year I'm moving to Nashville uh, with my husband, you know, after I get married. So... I'm going to be in a whole new setup. So I'm trying to prepare myself for that. Can I start writing the recipes with directions? That's the point of me posting it on YouTube. So you can see um, everything that um, that I do. Live, you know, live for yourself. Because a lot of times, you know, if you read a recipe and you're trying to make it, you know, it's not guaranteed to turn out the same way. So I think most people are visual. You may forget to add something, but if you see the video in your mind playing, just like if you remember, if you see a movie, you remember every step of the movie, what happened. That's the point of me doing a video so you can see for yourself directly the steps and the manner in which I cook it. Thank you, love. My ginger juice, I use a uh, fresh ginger and I use my hydroplane and I slice it very, very thin. I take a saucepan, fill it up with water and um, I just let it simmer on the stove. The longer you let it simmer, the darker it will get. It will get like a golden amber color. And it will be like uh, more potent. And I add sugar to it, pure cane sugar to it. Um, as far as the mango, I take frozen mangoes. I put a little water in my blender, blend it all up. And then I will add the mango to the ginger syrup let that simmer and then i will drain it adding more water you know put it in your picture add more water more sugar whatever the preference is or you could either do like lemonade use fresh squeezed lemons yeah i like more and that's what i figure most people want to do um you know, more hands on than reading. Because I know me, I don't want to be doing a bunch of reading. I hate long drawn out videos. So, and I, a lot of things that I do cook, guys, I do not post. My collard greens and red beans, stuff like that. Because, you know, of course, that takes longer to cook. So, generally, you see my, um, Instagram page and I may just post pictures of what I have cooked because I don't want it to be like a long drawn out uh, video so yeah I have any more questions or anything and then prepping, like in the morning when I get up, if I'm up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, I already have an idea of what I want to prepare. 
So generally I try to cut up my seasoning then like this morning I went ahead and cooked the pasta as I was drinking my coffee or my tea. So and I try to set up everything for the live video so I'm not scrambling trying to cut up the seasoning you know trying to do all of that. It's already prepared and laid out for me. And then it's a good way, like if you have kids, you know, you want to incorporate your kids into cooking with you. You already have stuff pretty much prepped where they're not, you know, messing with a knife or anything like that. You know, they can just hand you the seasoning or something like that. So, oh, uh, that shrimp, oh, yeah, that shrimp yesterday was so good I, whew, that was a good meal yesterday oh yeah you from Trinidad you know about them seasonings honey and that's why I love flavor honey I have to have I can't cook unless I have fresh onions garlic peppers I love that I have to have that I think it makes your food taste better Hey, D'Angelo, what's up? What's up, Frank? Was it hot? What was what hot? The shrimp on yesterday? The mango sauce was hot. It wasn't, the shrimp itself was not spicy. Um, but that, that mango sauce that I tried, that I bought yesterday, it had a nice little kick to it. I liked it. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't spicy at all. It had a good flavor, not spicy at all. And that mango sauce that I had on the side, that just gave it took it to that next level. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I love cooking. I cook all day. Every day. I don't have no problem with cooking. Like I said, it's therapeutic to me. And it don't take all day to cook. You know, I'm not a lazy person. Oh, yeah. That is nice. You know, I want to start my own little herb garden. So, do you get a lot of sunlight? Ali, do you get a lot of sunlight, like, on your countertop? I'm not married yet. I'm engaged. My wedding is next year in August. So I'm engaged. To a wonderful, 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 exceptional man of God. He's a definitely a man of God. You have a skylight in your kitchen? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cause see, that's why I want to have me like a little kitchen herb garden. Cause you know, I like using fresh cilantro and stuff like that. So probably when I move to, to my other house, then I probably will start one. Yeah, I'll have a birthday and an anniversary in the same month. My fiance wanted me to get married on my birthday, but I, I don't want to get married on my birthday. So, and the date that we chose is August the 18th, 2018. And um, the significance of that date, the number 8 symbolizes a new beginning and the number 18 in hebrew symbolizes life a new life so that is the beginning of a new life for both of us so that's why we chose august 18 2018 um the well i haven't even put no oil on my braids yet but i probably will just spray oil sheen on my hair I probably would just spray oil sheen. Usually when I have my braids, honey, I just spray oil sheen every two to three days and keep it pushing. And 
And my hair grows fast. It naturally grows fast. And that's why I love my braider because she takes her time. You know, she's not snagging and pulling your hair. She really cares for your hair. She ain't trying to give you no bald edges, none of that kind of stuff. So do I have any more questions or anything? Do I use oil for what? My hair or what? Or my food? Aquarius pool. Yes, I do. Um, I may use like Guys, I've had like a, a jar of the Jamaican black castor oil. I've had it, I know, two years. So I sparingly may use that. But most most of the time I use grease in my hair. Blue Magic, the coconut oil. That's what I use to grease my scalp with. But I, like I said, when I have my braids, I like to just spray some oil sheen. It don't matter what brand it is, honey. I just spray a little oil sheen every two or three days and keep it pushing. Thank you. Yeah, she did do real good. Well, she says I'm her most favorite client, so... Thank you. And they go all the way down my butt which I have a tie on the back of it so they don't be going everywhere so and that was her I'm I was her I guess you could say guinea pig the person you know it's her first time doing this so So y'all have any more questions or anything? I'm trying to keep that glare from my window from showing. But I will post a picture shortly. Thank you. I try to take care of my skin. I use soap and water and Vaseline. That's it. Moisturize. It took her... I want to say four and a half hours to do it. So, my time is counting down. I got to go. Stay tuned. Go to my YouTube page on Akeisha Walker. Thank you guys for joining me. Any kind of soap. I use any kind of soap. No particular brand. Vaseline. Love you guys. Go to my YouTube page for the full video. Do see them, y'all. They calling me. Gotta go. Bye. Much love. Okay, YouTube. Just got off live with Instagram. Let's see. Let's move this out the way. So we have our fish. We have our pasta. Doesn't it look wonderful? It smells so good. And we have our baked sweet potato. Thank you guys for joining me today as I have prepared this dish. Let me sit down. So remember to always be careful, be safe, most important, just be you. And remember, guys, one love. You can go to my Instagram page at Miss Keisha Walker for all my weekly videos and photos. And send me a free request on Facebook. Holla at your girl. One love, guys. Bye.